What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. I want to focus in on <coughs> the uh, Lady Bing finalists, Patty Malo, Ryan O'Reilly, and Marty San Louis. And uh, under normal circumstances, I say, you know, give it to Marty San Louis, he wins every other year. But I would, uh, Ryan O'Reilly deserves it. Two penalty minutes all year. And I believe the only penalty, someone posted this as a comment on my page, was a uh, broken stick, like in game 65 or game 70. So, you know, really kept it up, wasn't taken, uh, wasn't putting his team at a disadvantage. And I know you can say, you know, it doesn't show tenacity, only had 22 hits, but he played well this year. He had a good year for the upstart avalanche, and I believe it was a minus, which again, we're trying to put plus minus behind us, but it's still a telling statistic. Um, and, you know, I think he, he led Colorado in uh, a goal thing, you know, 20 or 29. So that's that's a good thing for um, for him. I, again, I, I'd give it to him. Let's talk about the other two guys. He, he's 23. The other two are, are a little bit older than him. Patty Marlowe had himself a nice uh, yeah, 70 points, uh, 33 goals, and just pointed up now, and uh, was fifth in the NHL in shots on goal, and had uh, only 18 penalty minutes despite playing over 20 and a half minutes a night. Uh, I can see, you know, giving, Marlow, giving it to Marlowe, but... Not quite the resume O'Reilly has, and uh, you know, I, I mean, even if you you gotta look at the big picture, so that's when we talk about the third game today. Marty San Louis, uh, one of my favorite players, but a couple weeks ago, I don't know if it was Campbell or uh, Kennedy Mocky News tweeted, filled out their ballot for Lady Bing. Can't put Marty San Louis at the top because the way he left Tampa, and I know what you're saying, CJ, how can you let that cloud your judgment? It's an award for sportsmanship and gentlemanly conduct. Say what you want about, you know, I've been disrespected and all this other stuff, but you don't throw a childish temper tantrum like that because you didn't get your way, and then when you did get your way, you want a gold medal, and then you come back to, yeah, I still want out of here. It, it really is just, you know, it's tough. And yeah, it put the, the lightning in a tough situation, and really they could have had a, uh, I think, real to try the Stanley Cup had they kept it, but that's not to be disrespectful towards um, towards Ron Callahan, but... Marty San Luis is a little bit better offensively than, than Cali, despite being uh, about 10 years older than him. But he, um, you know, he was only 10 penalty minutes in 1,696 minutes and 11 seconds on the ice. That's uh, that's pretty intriguing. It's third in, uh, third among NHL forwards in total ice time for a 38-year-old guy. That's pretty cool. That's, that's good. Um, but again, you know, I, I can't look past the way he left Tampa. You know, I think that that's a tough deal, and I think the voters have that in the back of their mind. And I think you know what, uh, numbers do lie sometimes. I know there's the old saying, "Men lie, women lie, numbers never lie." But I mean, you know, I think it was kind of a statistical anomaly to only have two penalty minutes this season. That's not a knock on a rally. It's just you know, you, you pick up penalty minutes just kind of you know randomly at times. You know, some sometimes it's called a slash, sometimes it's not. I'm not knocking the officiating. I'm just saying you know. There's so many, um, you know, calls that you, you know you, you get sometimes and you don't get. I think you just got to run with good luck, cause, you know, I mean, I think on any given play, there's two or three penalties committed. I, I, I read a statistic, and on the average NFL play, there's like four different holds going on. And it doesn't matter, you know, what do you get flagged for, what do you not get flagged for. And, um, it's like the the offensive tackle. I know I'm going to another sport there. Um, Jake Long uh, plays for St. Louis. Nice play for Miami. When he was at college at the University of Michigan, he got called for three flags, three penalties, all. <clears throat> his time there. It's like one false start and two holding. He said, I got away with holding on every play. You know, I'm just smart enough to, to cover it up and make it look legit. And I'm not saying that that's the thing with O'Reilly, but I mean, as you get um, older, you know, you, you, you use the free hand a little bit more and you, you're able to pick up more veteran savvy. I don't think old is the right word for a 23 year old, but, you know, again, right now, if I had to pick the lead, if I was picking the lead, it would go to Ryan O'Reilly, and um, that's that. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the uh, why Ryan O'Reilly should win the Lady Bing. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.